Okay, so today we're going to have a look at quadratic sequences. Um, so we're going to start off with a question, grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, make some notes, and we're going to have a look at some of these questions here. So it says write an expression in terms of n for the sequence, and it gives us the sequence 4, 7, 12, 19, and 28. Now when it comes to these quadratic sequences, they are all actually just related to the square numbers. And the square numbers have this unique property where the, there's a second difference between them with a constant difference of 2, and that can change as we sort of progress through this. But if we have a look at this one to start with, if I have a look at what the difference is between these numbers, and let's draw it in, we've got from 4 to 7 is 3, from 7 to 12 is 5, from 12 to 19 is 7, and then the next one there is 9. So we can see here we get a second difference because the difference between all of these is 2. And this is a unique property that the square numbers have. Now in order to find out how many of the square numbers it is, we'd have to halve this second difference. So when we divide that by 2, we know it is related to the square numbers, which we call n squared. Now in order to find out the rest of the nth term, all we actually have to do is write out the square numbers. So if I write out the square numbers, they are 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. And what I'm going to have a look at is how do I get from these square numbers back to my sequence? And I'm going to call that the difference. I'm just going to label it down here. There we go. So how do we get from the square numbers back to my sequence? So the first square number is 1, and our first number in the sequence up here is 4. So to get from 1 to 4, you add 3. The next one's 4, and we want to get to 7. So to get from 4 to 7, you add 3 again. And that's the same from 9 to 12, this one up here. You just add 3 again. Now once you've got at least two of them, and you can see it's a constant difference there, we know it's the square numbers but with 3 added on. Okay, so because we've got a constant difference here with plus 3, we know that our nth term is going to be n squared, the square numbers, but with 3 added on. There we go, and that's how we go about finding the nth term for one of these sequences. Let's have a look at another one. Okay, so similar, similar wording here for this question. We're going to follow a very similar process. So the first difference here is 6, then 10, then what have we got there? 14, and then 18. So this time we've got a second difference again, but the second difference is 4. Okay, but we take the same approach here, we divide it by 2, and it just means that it's going to be 2n squared, okay, or two lots of the square numbers. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly write down the square numbers to the side, I'm just going to write down four of them. So 1, 4, 9, 16, and we want 2n squared, which is double the square numbers. So if we double all of those, 1 turns into 2, 4 turns into 8, 9 turns into 18, and 16 turns into 32. And again, I'm just going to work out what the difference is. I'm just going to label it the diff. There we go. Right, so to get from 2 back to 1, that's take away 1. To get from 8 back to 7, that's take away 1. And to be honest, I've done enough here, enough here but you can check the rest. 18 to 17 is minus 1, and 32 to mi uh, 31 is also minus 1. So in this um, quadratic sequence, we have to take away 1 from each of those 2n squared values. So it's 2n squared, but take away 1. And there's our nth term again for this sequence. I'm going to look at one more before we have a go. Okay, so same process again. From negative 2 to 7 is 9. From 7 to 22 is 15. 22 to 43 is 21. And then 43 to 70 is 27. There we go. So the second difference here, 6, 6, and 6. There we go, so we've got a second difference of 6. Again, dividing that by 2. This time gives us 3n squared. So again, write out the square numbers. I'm just going to do 3 this time, 1, 4, 9. And we're going to times them by 3 for 3n squared. So 1 times 3 is 3, 4 times 3 is 12, and 9 times 3 is 27. And again, we're going to work out the difference. Okay, so the difference from 3 back to negative 2 is neg take away 5. Okay, to get from 3 to this minus 2. To get from 12 to 7, that's take away 5. From 27 to 22, that is also take away 5. So for our n squared sequence, or here we'll have 3n squared, but take away 5. Okay, and that's how you find the nth term of these type of sequences. So here's some for you to have a go at. Okay, so there's three questions there. So have a go, pause the video, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, so answers for these. The first one here, let's have a look. We have a first difference of 3, 5, 7, 9, so a second difference of 2. So then we know that that's an n squared sequence. I'm just going to write down the square numbers over here. We've got 1, 4, 9, 16, 
I'm going to use these for all the questions. So let's have a look. So to get from one to six is negative five, and from oh, sorry is add five, and from four to nine is also add five. So it's n squared add five, and there's our first one. On to the next one. Five to eleven is six. Eleven to twenty-one is ten. Twenty-one to thirty-five is fourteen. So here we have a second difference of four. Halving that gives us two n squared. Let's double these square numbers to the right. So two n squared is two. 8, 18, 32. To get from 2 to 5 is add 3. 8 to 11 is add 3. So it's 2n squared add 3. There we go. And the last one here, first difference is 9, 15. So let's write these down. 9, then 15, then 21. And the last one there is 27. And that gives us a second difference of 6, which means it's 3n squared. So back to my original square numbers, 1 times 3 is 3, 4 times 3 is 12, 9 times 3 is 27, 16 times 3 is 48. So to get from 3 to 1, uh, we take away 2, 12 to 10 we take away 2, lovely, so it's all take away 2, so it's 3n squared minus 2. And that's how you find the nth term of a quadratic sequence. Let's have a look at some slightly harder ones though. Okay, so let's have a look at what changes here. So if I find the first difference for this sequence, similar process, let's have a look, we get 5, 7, 9, 11. Look, again, look at the second difference. We have 2. There we go. So halve that. And we get n squared as our starting part of the sequence. Writing out the square numbers, let's see what we've got. 1, 4, 9, 16. Again, let's find the difference. So from 1 to 4 is add 3. From 4 to 9 is add 5. From 9 to 16 is add 7. And from 16 to 25 is add 9. Now because we haven't got a constant difference here, we can't just put n squared add a number. What we've instead got to do is we've got to ignore the rest of the question and we're just going to work out the nth term of this sequence here. What sequence is actually being added into my n squareds because that is actually a sequence in itself. So whatever method you use for finding the nth term of a sequence, just you can do this to the side. 3, 5, 7, 9 and the nth term of that is going up in 2's. So it's 2n. And if you go back to, if this is a method that you use, that would be 1 at the start, or positive 1 at the start, so it's 2n plus 1. Okay, it's the 2 times table there, okay, but with 1 added on. So if that is this sequence here, 2n plus 1, all we need to do is combine it all together, so we have n squared, the square numbers, with 2n plus 1 added into it, so add 2n plus 1. And there is... Uh, the nth term of a quadratic sequence here where we have a second difference, uh, oh, sorry, a difference down there which is not constant and we actually have another sequence being added in. So have a look at another one of these. Don't forget to make some notes on them. Okay, so have a look at this one then. From 0 to 3 is 3, from 3 to 10 is 7, 10 to 21 is 11, and from 21 to 36 is 15. So a second difference here is 4, so that would be 4. And again, halving that gives us 2n squared. So again, write down your square numbers, 1, 4, 9, 16, and we need to double them this time because it's 2n squared. So 2, double 4 is 8. I've written 19 there, it should say 9. Don't know why I've written 19, let's change that. 1, 4, 9, 16. Double 9 is uh, 18, and double 16 is 32. There we go. Let's have a look at what the difference is then. So to get from 2 to 0 is take away 2, to get from 8 to 3 is take away 5, to get from 18 to 10 is take away 8, and to get from 32 to 21 is take away 11. So again, let's have a look at this then. We've got our own little sequence here, we're going to work out the nth term of this. So we ignore everything else, work out the nth term. Right, so the nth term of this is going down in 3s. So minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. So that would be minus 3n. And if we go backwards one, we would add 3. And that would give us positive 1 at the start. And we go, that would be plus 1. So it's minus 3n, add 1. That is the nth term for the little sequence down there. So all we need to do to finish this off is obviously to put this all together, because it started with 2n squared. It finishes here with minus 3n plus 1. So putting it all together, we have 2n squared minus 3n plus 1. There we go, and there's our final answer. 
Okay, so you just gotta be very, very careful when you do these, obviously. Find your second difference, halve it for you to n squared like normal, and then when you find your difference, if it's not a constant difference, you are just gonna to have to ignore the rest of the question and work out the nth term of that sequence on its own, and that's what you're gonna add on to your n squared or your two n squared. Okay, so here's a couple for you to have a go at. Okay, so have a go at these two questions, pause the video there, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, so the first one. We've got a sec first difference of six, and then eight, 10, 12. So that's gonna be a second difference of two, which means we have just a single n squared. Now the square numbers, one, four, nine, 16. So let's have a look at our difference. So from one to three, is add two, from four to nine is add five, from nine to 17 is add, have a look, from nine to 17 is add eight, okay? And then from 16 to 27 is add 11. Okay, there we go. So we've got two, five, eight, 11, that's going up in threes, so that's three n. And if we went back three, we would have minus one at the start. So it's three n minus one. So if I put that all together then, what have we got? We've got n squared, add 3n minus 1. And there we go. Obviously you know here whether to put add in front of the 3n because it's not negative. So it's not negative. We assume that there's a positive sign there. It's what's being added into it. Okay, on to the next one. So the next one here goes 4 and then 8, 12 and 16. And our second difference there is four to eight is four, eight to 12 is also four, and 12 to 16 is four. So halving that gives us two n squared. And I've got the square numbers over there to the left, so let's double them straight away. One doubled is two, four doubled is eight, nine doubled is 18, and 16 doubled is 32. And then writing down the difference. So to get from two to one is minus one, to get from eight to five is minus three, 18 to 13 is minus 5, and 32 to 25 is minus 7. Okay, so work out the nth term of this as it's not constant. So that's going down in twos, so that'd be minus 2n. And if we went backwards, we would add 2, and that would give us positive 1 at the start. There you go, so it'd be minus 2n plus 1. So putting that all together then, we have 2n squared that it starts off with, and then minus the 2n plus 1 to finish it off. There we go, just make your answer nice and clear there. Okay, there we go. And that is how you find the nth term of a quadratic sequence. Now there are other ways of doing this. There is a formula approach that you can use. I personally don't really like the formula because I don't really think it builds the understanding behind this topic and why you get the, um, the nth terms that we do there and how they relate to the square numbers. But that is quadratic sequences. Some are harder ones and some easier ones. But if you found that useful, if it was helpful, obviously please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I'll see you for the next video. Thank you.